everybody, this is Igor Cavalera, and you guys are watching Ramzine. Ramzine.co.uk, and we're here backstage at Download Festival with Igor of Cavalier Conspiracy. How are you today? Good, just uh, waking up, yeah, me get, too. getting ready to go on stage and uh, doing some press, so it's, uh, it's quite an energetic morning for me. It's like, yeah, it's yeah. Like out of the bed and already like all over the place, so it's gonna quite, be fun. Quite an early time to start with the press. I yeah, think. yeah, early okay. show, and then hopefully later on, we'll have some time to chill and yeah. watch maybe a few of the bands. Who are you gonna watch? I really wanna see all seven. That's that's you know maybe yeah. suicidal. Oh yeah. They suicidal always put a good show. Suicidal tendencies. Yeah. yeah. Thing. And uh, yeah. Fourth stage. Motley Crue's last UK festival though. No, Not for no, you. No. <laughs> see. No no no. <laughs> I don't want to see any of that. <laughs> Sorry. You can just go to the bar. Well, suicidal and beyond. So yeah, man. That's yeah. Good there, there's a lot of good music in here. Yeah. In this in this part here. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> not my thing. No. Not for you. Um, so, you've been on a world tour, is it? Yeah, like, just finished uh, South America and a bit of Central America, so it's quite uh, crazy. Yeah. And, but then, you know, of course, now it's a run of uh, European festivals, and then yeah. uh, we do Israel, and then we off for a bit with Cavalera. So yeah. It's, it's quite... How have you found uh, the crowd reaction? on tour so far it's great it's been really good i mean the album's been out for a bit so the yeah. it was enough time for them to get familiar with the tracks so it's cool to make them a, a new version a live version of what we did on the record yeah what so you're bringing a live uh, version out or or you mean it's good for people to see the live yeah i mean live we're, show? yeah we're just you know because it, 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 it does sound very different from the record so it's cool to yeah. To have them see what you do, like it's almost we're almost like a cover band of ourselves, especially with Cavalera, because we we do everything live like really fast, and then later on I almost have to relearn the songs because it's a different process. We don't really rehearse with the band; it's just like okay. in and out of the studio, so it's quite cool. Yeah, and what I noticed um, about uh, yesterday, uh, watching bands on the main stage, it's one thing to listen to a band's album, but it's another thing to see it at a, a smaller gig. But to see it on the download main stage, you just get so much more power. Really, and it's it's a really good experience. Wow, yeah. I'm looking forward because I have to say, I, I like festivals, of course. Yeah prefer clubs you know yeah <laughs> like really. the underground feeling is such a I, nothing can top that of course it's cool to play the festivals but if I have to put back to back I go club yeah you can really see the real deal I think in a club yeah it's more intimate I yeah, guess yeah you, you get more of the I don't know like a more of a real response here is too much of a distance I think yeah I which mean, is cool like you say you might get like a massive power sound wise but the energy itself it's, it's a bit harder to connect yeah because everything's on such a big scale like no. you from get one side of the stage to the other you've got to pretty much run <laughs> yeah, no, yeah it's crazy <laughs> yeah and I guess uh, with festivals there's so many different fans different types of fans here for all sorts of different music that's cool I mean that's that's I think the positive part from a club club usually you get the people who really know what they want and they're there in here you, you get a mixture of different people and the, and that's that's uh, exciting also the fact that you could be playing for people that never heard of you, you know, that's that's quite cool yeah that's cool um so i gave uh, pandemonium a listen um can't really explain it other way any other way than fast <laughs> yeah very fast it is a very raw like record super fast and then it, it really reflects what me and Max, you know, were at the time when we wrote the record. So it's it's nothing more than that. It's yeah. just how we, we felt the music could sound at that time, you know. How like what way in your life did you realize that like that genre of music was for you and that you wanted to play faster music? Do you ever get to a point where you think oh, I'll play something a bit slower now? Or? I don't know. I I, I have a very big attraction to like fast energetic music yeah but that doesn't really necessarily means it has to be metal or hardcore even like you know industrial or, or electronic music has that, that feeling to it 
Yeah. So I think, but I do enjoy the energy itself when you hear something that really catches you somehow. And uh, usually that happens with the with the upbeat thing. But I do also enjoy a lot of like slow, slow music too. So I think a combination of both it's it's where it's at. Yeah. And um I've been asking quite a lot of deep questions this weekend for some reason, but just trying to find out like what drives you to create death metal. What is it is it a part of is it something in your life that makes you want to create that genre or it's weird because it's like for us being from Brazil and playing that kind of music it, it was almost like nobody could believe it you know because it's like it was not common you know of yeah. course there was a, already like a small scene in Europe and a, a little in America but coming from Brazil it was like a complete disaster it's like people are like no you're not gonna get any gigs playing this kind of music all the other bands were playing more like typical metal like Iron Maiden and stuff like that and we were like that's not really us, you know. We wanted something, like I said, more extreme and, and yeah. you know, faster, harder, all that stuff. So it was cool, also to be different than all the other bands in Brazil. Yeah, well, you do it very well as well. Um, so, what um, are the plans for the rest of the year for Cavalier Conspiracy? Still more more shows to do, like back and forth between our projects. And me and Max, we've been talking also about maybe doing a, an EP, oh, yeah. like a four song, maybe like really raw again. So that's that's kind of like the end of the year for us. Yeah. A lot of shows and maybe some studio. Yeah, and then potentially back in the UK. Hopefully, next hopefully year. we can do some more stuff. You know, like me, haven't we haven't done a club gig in a long time with Cavalera, so I would love to to do that. Yeah. Know, in the UK. Cool. Well, thank you very much for talking to us today and enjoy your show later on today. Yeah, yeah I'll try. <laughs> <laughs>